There's been so much ego and so many details involved in trying to get Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather to fight that it appeared that it might not ever happen. They've had to negotiate everything from the type of gloves to which fighter enters the ring first to whether Pacquiao's HBO deal or Showtime's Mayweather deal takes precedent for TV rights. But there's also so much money involved that it appears that it will happen. May 2nd is a tentative date with Pacquiao getting a 40% split of the purse. He talked about the fight and his basketball obsession with Sam Alaport. Manny, you're one of the best boxers of all time, and now you're a two-sport athlete, a professional basketball player and coach in the Philippines. What does basketball do for your game and, and for your boxing training? Aside from boxing training, is uh, my cross training is basketball, so I do both. And when I'm in, in pre pre preparation for the fight, I have uh, one day training for basketball. Give me the scouting report on Manny Pacquiao, the basketball player. What's your biggest strength? Well, um, speed and, uh, of course, outside shooting. All right, uh, well, we have, we're at a gym. Yeah. Can we see some of this? Yeah. That was pretty impressive. The NBA is hugely popular in the Philippines. Who's your favorite basketball player? Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry. Curry takes a three. Got it! You are a boxer, a politician, mm -hmm. an actor, mm -hmm. a singer, a basketball player. Mm -hmm. Tell me this, which of those jobs are you the worst at? Singing. Singing? What does singing do for you? I really love music, but uh, I don't think music loves me. <laughs> <laughs> we are as close as we've ever been to a Pacquiao Mayweather fight. What is the latest in the discussions between the two groups? <clears throat> We're waiting for a signed contract from them, and we, my, me and my promoter, we both, uh, uh, both agree, agree the term and condition, whatever they want, and we agree that already, and we're just waiting for the sign from What can we expect to see? He's asked that you fight on May 2nd. Have you agreed to that? Whatever he wants. He's also asked for more than a 50-50 share. Yes, 60-40, I'm agree that. You agree to that? He also asked that you uh, submit to randomized testing. No problem, that's not a problem since the beginning. Popular belief is he's just ducking you, that he doesn't want to fight you because he has more to lose as the undefeated fighter. Do you feel that's true? Well, right now, I, uh, I think I, I, I believe, I believe. You believe he's ducking you? Yeah. Why, why, why would I don't know, I don't know, maybe <laughs> he's scared to lose. <laughs> the, the, the name lose. <laughs> Sports books actually have you as a three to one underdog. That's how do good. You, how do you feel about that? That's good. I mean, uh, when I fought De La Hoya, it's eight to one. You're comfortable in the underdog spot. If I'm fever, you know, just very confident and not train, not focus. But if I'm underdog, it's like 200 percent focus in training. Vegas says put the money on Mayweather. You heard them mention this. Uh, Mayweather, a favorite to win over Pacquiao at minus 275. Now, converting those odds to a win percentage means that Mayweather has a 71% likelihood of beating Pacquiao. And we remind you, as always, these numbers for entertainment purposes only. Did you see what happened to Tiger Woods? The man got his.